energy and life. Now, energy is usually described as the ability to do work or cause a change. Now, you've no doubt heard of potential energy and kinetic energy. Potential energy means that the energy is stored. It has the ability to do uh, work or cause a change, but it's not actually doing any work or causing any change. It's stored energy. Kinetic energy is released energy, actually doing work or causing change. There are many forms of energy. Uh, mechanical energy, the energy of moving objects, uh, chemical energy, uh, forming and breaking molecular bonds, uh, heat energy, which is a random energy of molecular motion, light, which is a form of electromagnetic energy, uh, and so on and so forth. Now when it comes to understanding energy, especially with living systems, we have to look briefly at the laws of thermodynamics. The first law of thermodynamics is often called the law of conservation of energy. It essentially says that the entire universe has a fixed total amount of energy. So energy itself is not going to be created or destroyed in nature. It can be transformed from one version to another but energy is not being created or destroyed. So what does that mean for living things? That means the energy has to come from somewhere and it's going to go somewhere. Now, the second law of thermodynamics is often referred to as the law of entropy. Now, this has to do with energy conversions. Energy conversions are never 100% efficient. You're going to lose energy with every energy conversion. That loss is generally as heat. So if we're converting energy from form A to form B, and it doesn't matter what, we're, what the forms are, you're not going to get 100% of the energy from A into B. You're going to lose some of the useful energy as heat in the conversion. So A does not equal B because of the second law. However, A equals B plus heat because of the first law. So entropy, of course, is a word which describes disorder or randomness. Because heat is a random energy, you have more randomness on this side than you do this side. Now, disorder is the opposite of order, and one of the characteristics of life is that we are complex, we are ordered. So what does that mean? That means that living systems, cells, organisms, the biosphere, has to have a continuous supply of energy to maintain order. So order complexity can be maintained as long as energy is supplied because uh, living organisms are not closed systems. We have to eat. We have to have calories. The biosphere has to have sunlight for food webs uh, via uh, productivity and photosynthesis and so forth. And this is true in anything. Any order system has to have the, the input of energy to maintain order. Your kitchen. If you don't expend the energy to keep your kitchen in order, what happens to your kitchen? Disorder, randomness. So the second law of thermodynamics does not mean that complexity can't be maintained or even increased, but it does mean that it requires energy to do it. Okay, That's, that's why we need energy for, for, for life. Now, we tend to think of the second law in negative ways, loss of efficiency, randomness, disorder. But if you think about it, if it wasn't for the second law of thermodynamics, heat and temperature could not exist. This is where our body heat comes from, by the way. The efficiency rate of our metabolism is what produces heat. So life requires the laws of thermodynamics.